In observing eating behavior, it appears that Formosan macaques literally gulp food down as fast as they can. This is because they have two cheek pouches, one on each side of their face, used simply to carry food away. Once full, the monkeys retire to a place of safety where the food is taken out to be enjoyed at their leisure. While on the hunt for food, Formosan macaques have the habit of eating and spitting on the go. Apart from helping spread seeds, this behavior helps raise the odds of seeds germinating and sprouting. Small seeds that are swallowed and pass through the digestive system are deposited in feces. We have also found that some Formosan macaques consume dirt, which, aside from providing essential minerals, may also play a role in reducing the symptoms of parasite infestations, evacuating poisons, curing diarrhea, and helping control stomach diseases. Around midday is nap time for the Formosan macaques. They will sleep until about three o'clock, when another search for food ensues. One can't help but smile at their variety of positions and think of the wonderful dreams they must be having. Their coat of grey fur offers protection as well as warmth. Much time is spent on grooming, which aside from keeping fur clean, is also a vehicle for social interaction and communication. In the laid-back life of the Formosan macaque, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, is more than just a saying. It's a way of life. Formosan macaques mate between October and January, with fertile females recognized by their red and swollen bottoms. In smaller troops, only the leader has the privilege of mating, while in larger groups, that privilege is sometimes shared with the second-ranking male. Babies gestate five and a half months before birth. After which, infants cling to their mother's breasts. 
Mothers keep a close watch over their progeny until they are old enough to fend for themselves. The emotional ties of love that bond a Formosan macaque mother and child are not so different from those bonds between human mothers and their children. Young monkeys are at constant play with one another, learning the basics of survival in the wilderness. When males reach adolescence, however, they are forced out of the troop to fend for their own until they are of a size and strength sufficient to challenge the leader or to found a new kingdom of their own. Allowed to live out a full life, the average Formosan macaque can expect to live as long as 20 years of age. A seemingly insatiable demand for new land and new development is pushing man deeper and deeper into previously untouched interior mountains and destroying the natural habitat of the Formosan macaque. Fruit farms set near the perimeter of newly developed areas become natural food scavenging zones for native monkeys. Longans, pineapple, lychees, and oranges all favorite foraging targets have naturally become the focus of an intensifying turf war between the Formosan macaque and farmers. These fruits really do look delicious. Even we can't resist sneaking a taste now and again. What can I do about these monkeys? They're breaking without warning and picking entire ultras of green fruit. This roof was destroyed too. You tell me what I should do. When challenged by the Formosan macaque, farmers can take certain actions permitted under Taiwan's Wildlife Conservation Act. But the monkeys are smart. They are willing to risk all against noisy firecrackers, booming radios, and all the other machinations that farmers use to keep them away in order to fill their stomachs.